Oh my gosh, we have a huge problem. Oh man. Uh, check out this guy. I don't even know. Is that comfortable? We've called in some reinforcements. Check out this guy right here. Best right. bosses ever. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, more chases. Come on, where are the turtles? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel for another exciting vlog. Man, the last couple days have been crazy. We just had an insane soda stream last night. And then the night before was our Halloween auction and we sold a ton of stuff. So huge shout out to everybody who came over to one or both of the streams. Thank you guys so much. It is just so helpful right now with everything that we have going on with the renovations and trying to build our new studio and everything. But let me show you everything that we sold. It's a lot. We have a lot of work to do. So it's Sunday afternoon and Joanna is already Pretty hard at work. We did sleep in though. We needed it after late last night. Uh, but here are all the sodas that we sold from the soda show. We sold a couple bags and uh, thankfully sold another Freddy Wobbler. So we are one wobbler closer to whittling down the army. But we also sold a ton of pops during our Halloween show. We did not expect to sell as many pops as we did, but it's crazy. All the items on these three shelves, as well as the items down there, the items over here, and I even have some items over there that we already put on that table. And there's already a few boxes all the way over there that we've already packed up as well. We tried to pack up a few orders yesterday. It's crazy. Look at all the labels that we have to pack. Absolutely insane. But thank you guys so much for the support. We're gonna get to work. So after about five hours of straight packing, we have nine bags and one giant box ready to be shipped out tomorrow for our postal service pickup. We did not pack all the pops, but also check out this guy. I don't even know, is that comfortable? Like how, how did he manage to get in that position? He loves that beanbag chair, man. So <laughs> he's uh, he's definitely claimed it, but we packed 95% of the auction. We still have a couple bundles here that we need to pack. The bigger bundles take a little bit longer because, you know, multiple items and some items are not all the same size. So we will get to those tomorrow. And we also placed all of the soda orders from Saturday night on their labels. So we will get to packing those tomorrow as well. We actually have to shift gears and we've decided that we're going to be doing another soda auction tomorrow night because unfortunately we ran out of pop protectors. So even though we have some pops to sell, we can't sell them because we put a pop protector on every single pop that we sell. So what we're going to be doing is we have a soda collection right here that we're going to be inventorying right now to see what new sodas came in so we can mix them into tomorrow's soda show. All right, so we have this box and then this giant box. We're gonna open up this one first. Oh, it looks like we have some cooler bags. That's fantastic. We've been blowing through the cooler bags and a lot of people actually like to buy the bag individually. And it looks like I can see here, we got three avatar coolers with their soda characters. Oh man, that's perfect. I can't wait to see what else is in here. So we ended up unpacking the second box as well. So here are all of the sodas in this collection. Now we got a lot of Sanderson sisters and if it was any other time of the year, I'd be a little bummed, but since it's October, everybody's been asking for the Sanderson sisters. So what I think I might do is I might make a bundle like buy it now option to give people the opportunity just to get all three in one shot for anybody who's looking to get them for their Hocus Pocus set or their Halloween displays. But we got some good characters in this collection. A big highlight for me is the Avatar The Last Airbender sodas because those sodas are definitely in high demand. We also got Elvira. That's another great character to get this time of the year. Beach Minnie Mouse. Everybody's always asking for Disney. We got Marty McFly, Shrek, Dr. Ian Malcolm. Anime. It seems like uh, anime collectors are finally 
coming in full force into the soda game. So a couple Sasuke's. We also got a beautiful OG at icon right here with Chester Cheetah. Another beautiful one right here with Vampire Freddy. Great timing with getting that one here in October as well. A couple Grinches because, you know, Christmas is right around the corner. With uh, all the requests for Disney, I'm very happy to also have Jiminy Cricket in this collection. And then we got a bunch of chases. So we got Dr. Alan Grant. Katara here, which her chase is actually pretty cool. The Hercules chase is awesome. Raya chase, and then a couple unnumbered chases that we can use as giveaways. And then you guys already saw the three bags. So I already started working on the soda wall for tomorrow's auction. But Joanna and I have been working pretty much all day and we're super tired. So we're gonna go grab something to eat and we're gonna call it a night. What's going on everybody? So it is Tuesday and last night we actually had our soda show that was originally a pop show, but we ran out of pop protectors. So now we have like 300 sodas that need to get shipped out, but thankfully we've called in some reinforcements. So we actually got Rita to come help us pack, but She's made herself at home in front of the Freddy's, so I think she's going to take over doing contents for a while. Uh, but no, we're very thankful she's going to come help us hopefully once a week or so if she has uh, time. But she's got kids and dogs and responsibilities, so we'll see how that goes. But she was also, oh look, there's Joanna. She was also very helpful because uh, she picked up more packages from our P.O. box. So the table is once again full with, um, I think a bunch of these are actually Toys for Tots donations. Maybe some, I know those are mystery boxes and such. So we got more boxes to go through. But the biggest thing that we have to do, of course, is pack up all these sodas. So this is everything that we sold last night. And then we still have all of the orders from Saturday night. And then we have a couple scraggler orders that we need to pack up from Friday night's pop show. So we got Rita for about three, four hours. We're gonna try to crank through as much as possible. So thanks to Rita, here we are about five hours later. I've got three full bags full of items ready to go. A couple big boxes right here. I would have the rest of the items in bags. However, we ran out. So I was hoping that the post office was gonna bring us more bags today, but it looks like that will be happening tomorrow. So we have all of the other boxes. Everything is all ready to be shipped out bright and early tomorrow morning. I also wanna give Jason a huge shout out. He was super kind and he actually donated four chases that he won the other night during our soda show to our Toys for Tots Duck Duck Chase game. So he... <laughs> It's just killing it with the kindness once again. But we have an amazing Carnage Chase. Here is the Demogorgon Chase, the White Lantern Hal Jordan Chase, and the Glow in the Dark Darth Vader Chase. So four more amazing chases for Toys for Tots. And speaking of Toys for Tots, I actually, oh, there's Alex. I actually relocated all of the Toys for Tots items that we have so far. We have another table here, so this will be the Toys for Tots table for the time being. So we got our soda bin, our pop bin, and our other bin, and we actually need to go through a bunch of these boxes, inventory them, and see which ones are Toys for Tots items, and then we can add them to their respective bins. But once again, huge shout out to Rita. We would have not been able to get as much done as we were able to do so. All right, so first day working at Slap Shop Pops, how was it? I thought it was great. Okay. Best right. bosses ever. <laughs> I got to drink coffee, I got to be on the phone, I got to listen to music, can't really complain. We did pack over 200 boxes, which was crazy, and uh, I am very proud to report we're looking forward to having you back here, <laughs> and you are well on your way to becoming October Employee of the Month. So, <laughs> <I'm> so excited! <laughs> there may be a bonus in it for you, but this once be again, my picture right here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We'll have every month in the garage with just Rita's <laughs> picture. But um, thank you for coming out. You are a huge oh, help. No, thank you guys. So before we bust open these Toys for Tots packages, I also want to give one more huge shout out to Darth J who was kind enough to donate this Freddy Funko as spirit soda also for our Toys for Tots show. So thank you so much to John, AKA Darth J. Now let's see what's in this box. This one's actually coming from our good friend, Ronaldo, AKA Forbidden Collectibles. Oh, and it looks like there is a note. Read me 
before opening. Oh my gosh, that's some candy? Let's do it. I'm gonna read this really quick. So I just went through the note. Oh my gosh, Ronaldo, that was very touching. Thank you so much for the kind words that you wrote. We're definitely gonna be cherishing that and adding that to our uh, our mail pile. And we have all the notes and all the other letters that people have sent, but wow, that was uh, really kind of you and, and very deep. So thank you so much for all that you shared. He also sent over some stickers of his previous name, Forbidden Gaming Collectibles. and. These are pretty cool, not gonna lie. I really like them. And then these, uh, whoops, let me grab that. The candies that he sent, we're gonna have to try these in an upcoming battle video when Joanne and I unbox some uh, mystery boxes. Those are some Puerto Rican candies with some sesame seeds, which sound very interesting. But now let's get to the contents of the box. And oh my gosh, he said he didn't send that much. This looks like fire. From the top of the box here, I don't even have this yet for my own collection. This is the Glow in the Dark Holographic Darth Maul. I'm calling it, guys. I think this is the best Star Wars pop of the year right here. Wow. And I can't believe we're going to have it for Toys for Tots. And he also mentioned that these are coming in his custom Forbidden Gaming Pop Protectors. This is incredible. Not to mention, there's a Social Media Friday 2.0 right here. Oh man, let's get everything out of the box and see what we got. So here are all the pops that Ronaldo sent over. We have that beautiful Darth Maul, this amazing Social Media Freddy Funko, the Curse Mark II Sasuke, Whitebeard from One Piece, a Chase Doctor Strange, a Pirate Pr Freddy and Proto Wobbler, and then a Ghost Album. These are amazing pops right here. And guys, every single thing that you send over is just tremendously appreciated. And not to mention that Ronaldo sent over something kind of amazing in addition to these pops. He sent over a pack of his custom pop protectors. And just looking at the protector on this Doctor Strange right here, I'm really digging it. And this is awesome because we can actually use some of these for some of the pops that are sold during our Toys for Tots event. I really like how clean and sleek it looks. These are great protectors. I am I might keep one for one of our pops, if that's okay with Ronaldo, but this is a, a great addition. Thank you so much for your donation. This is gonna help out so much. So this next box is once again from Wayne. Wayne has already donated quite a bit, but uh, he is very determined to make a massive difference in a lot of people's lives this holiday season. And I see some more printouts. Look at that. All the Toys for Tots logos, very nice. And then on the second paper, we have more incredible pictures. I don't know who's paying for this ink, Wayne, but this is a charity show. So <laughs> there's uh, not much left in the budget for the ink, so please don't go too crazy. But we've got a lot of sodas in here. Oh, and is this another Lego set? Oh my gosh, Wayne, this is just... You are just crossing into a whole nother level of generosity. So I'm gonna get all this unboxed. I can't wait to see all the contents inside. So I'm officially running out of nice things to say about Wayne. So we're just gonna say he's awesome and we're gonna roll through all this amazing items that he sent over. So we have a pair of Oogie Boogie three liters. And yes, this one has the little itty bitty chase sticker on it because it is the chase version. I think what I might do for the auction though is I might flop the bottles around so that the person who gets the chase gets the one with the cap because unfortunately this one is missing that green cap. Then we do have the common three liter Wampa, common three liter Darth Vader, a couple other regular sized common sodas that are fantastic with Bilbo Baggins, Rocket, Shorty, Rick, Batman, and Bedtime Bear. Moving into the pops, we've got Morgan Elsbeth from the Ahsoka series, Walrus with the little itty bitty Carpenter, the Mech Strike Thanos, Hermione Granger, Captain America from Civil War, original Rocket Raccoon from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1, President Loki with the hilarious tiny alligator Loki actually attacking him, Emphis Ness from the Solo movie, Harley Quinn from the Bombshell line, and then the gold Darth Maul. But that doesn't stop there as Wayne's going all out. We actually have the Clone Trooper and Battle Droid Battle Pack from Lego Star Wars here, where you get so many amazing minifigs and battle droids. You get the clone shock trooper, three regular clones, 
two battle droids and three super battle droids all in one set. But check out this beautiful Mac Daddy Marvel set. Now keep in mind guys, we're gonna be starting everything off at a dollar, but this is a $100 set right here. Beautiful one right here of the Spider-Man Final Battle from Spider-Man No Way Home, where you actually get all three versions of Spider-Man. Tobey Maguire, Tom Holland, and Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. You get their minifigs along with several other amazing characters all duking it out here at the Statue of Liberty site here. This is just so cool. I'm so excited to see who's going to be taking this one home. We do have a Marvel Collector Core box set that I think I'm going to sell just like this. So you get both the Spider-Man and Gwen Stacy blue. And then there's some other goodies here with the pin and the sticker and everything. So I think I might just sell this as a set right there. And then we also have the, uh, the Spider-Gwen and Miles Morales t-shirts from Across the Spider-Verse. So Wayne, thank you so much for all of the amazing goodies that you sent over. I'm gonna get these sorted and into some bins and we're gonna move on to the next box. So this next box right here is actually a small soda collection that we purchased. So let's see what goodies are in here. Honestly, we're buying so many collections these days, I don't even remember what is what. So, all right, that's a good start. An envelope labeled Chases, I like that. And these are all in the priority mail envelopes. So it'll take us a couple extra minutes, but let me get everything, oh, more Chases. Let me get everything unwrapped and we'll see what we have. So even though this soda collection is not the largest one that we've ever purchased, there are some fantastic figures that came in this collection. We've got Predator, Thor, Beetlejuice. Man, we haven't seen Beetlejuice for like two years. And then we managed to get three in the span of the last few weeks. We've got the Green Lantern, Flash, Doctor Strange, Captain Cold, Zombie Captain America. We haven't seen him in a while. Always a good day when you get a couple more ducks in that I can use for our games. Blacklight Queen of Hearts, Yukon, Boba Fett, Blacklight Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Look at these two guys. These are very tough to find, common Winnie the Pooh and the common Godzilla. There we've got the John Stewart Green Lantern, another duck, Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, Phoenix, Popeye. Believe it or not, Popeye's been a very challenging one to find on the aftermarket these days. Then we have the Blacklight Cheshire Cat. So those are all the commons. And then we did get a bunch of chases. We got Sully, who's Flock, the last Ronin, who's white. Iron Man is unmasked, Moon Knight's glow in the dark, Sauron has the mace, and then Star-Lord is unmasked with the mixtape. But the clear highlights of this collection, I'm actually just in complete awe that these showed up. Check out this guy right here, the original Freddy Funko Chase, 800 pieces. Woo! Those sodas, they were just, they, they wanted to see Freddy, that's how bad they, they uh, <laughs> had to fall there. 800 piece lemon lime shirt, Freddy Funko. This was the first soda they ever made of Freddy. And this is a very rare chase. Not to mention this guy over here, 1600 piece. So he's doubled the piece count, but he is equally as difficult to find these days. We very rarely get the common, let alone the beautiful flocked Winnie the Pooh chase. So very happy to get these guys in the door. Very happy that I already have this one in the collection. If I did not, this would be 100% a keeper for me, but this was a great soda collection. All right, now it's time to open this giant box. And this, I believe, is another collection for us that we purchased. A lot of bubble wrap, always love to see that. All right, looks like we have a mixture of things. Oh, this is labeled Toys for Tots. Very nice, we'll make sure that gets added to the uh, Toys for Tots pile. Oh, that's pretty sick. The Invisible Batman Beyond Chase, very nice. So it looks like we've got a lot going on. Oh, we've got an NFT right here. Oh, wow. You know, I actually think I know somebody who was looking for this exact pop. So I'm gonna have to message them tomorrow. I might be able to make their day. So let me go through the rest of this box and see what else we have. So once again, we have another small collection, but there's some great pieces that came in. Check out this amazing Avengers Tower in Iron Man Pop Town. 
I just told Joanna I don't have one of these yet, and as soon as we get into our new studio, I want one of these so bad to display out of box for my marble collection area. This is just super cool. Then we have Wolverine's motorcycle, the White Knight Batman and White Knight Joker two pack. Joanna loves this one in particular because the Joker is holding a tiny little Batman in his hand. Plus we got some other great regular four inch pops like Farmer Freddy, Batman Who Laughs. I'm very curious to see how this New York Comic Con version of Batman Who Laughs is going to do compared to this one. Then we have Hondo Anaka right here, which is a lesser known Star Wars character, but it has arguably the best Star Wars sticker of all time on that box. Then we have the armor from The Mandalorian, Anakin Skywalker transitioning to the dark side. That was a Walgreens exclusive. Another Walgreens exclusive here is the only Mace Windu that Funko has ever made here in 2024. Still the only one. Then we've got Batman Beyond. There's that Batman Beyond chase. Tony Stark from C2E2. The Jamie Lannister with gold hand NFT limited to 2,700 pieces. Ahsoka, Bo-Katan, Jack on Angel statue, as well as the Batman comic book cover and this is from the Dark Knight Returns but you guys are not going to believe this the last collection we just had an original Freddy chase now we've got a golden Batman chase like it is just raining soda chase grails right here 1600 piece from 2020 this is another huge very sought after soda chase grail so i am beyond excited to get this one not to mention we also got a scarlet witch chase you very rarely see the common let alone the chase so this was another small but very mighty collection i also want to give giovanna a huge shout out because in that collection she was actually kind enough to send over these items to auction off during our toys for tots auction i absolutely love this batman animated series dorbs ride right here they actually never made a regular pop version of this batmobile i don't know why because i think it would sell very well it's uh one of the most iconic batmobiles and then she also sent over two scarlet witch pop pins and uh some soda coaster display stands so i think these are going to be great because we're definitely going to be auctioning off a lot of sodas during that show so all around thank you so much giovanna this is fantastic so these next two smaller boxes are both from michelle and i believe that they are toys for tots boxes and there is a little note right here so let me see what's inside these two so these are the contents of the two boxes and michelle thank you so much you sent over some fantastic stuff let's start with the two sodas right here we have an ashy common and a black light vampire proto from last year's heavy metal halloween that is truly awesome then we have for the pops nathan morris ginshi morpheus the red boba fett with the official WonderCon con sticker mandy sherman fields from Candyman, the 6500 piece papa waka lumberjacks mascot from last year's camp fun days zero with the sunglasses with the con sticker man michelle you're killing it with those con stickers and then we've got the flocked box lunch exclusive grumpy bear from the care bears line this is a great little donation thank you so much michelle this was truly above and beyond of you look at this next box this is coming in from crystal the note she sent us actually fell out of the box as we were opening it so um crystal said some very nice things about the channel and uh she's very excited for the auction as are we and oh we got a plethora of different oh goodies gosh, in here it's a little remy hot wheels car that's gonna kill that's super cute what is this this looks awesome oh wow Dude, i it's used to it? yeah i used to love these as a kid where do you get the truck and the vehicle that's awesome look at that walmart in the background very nice oh man there's a lot of great stuff in here so we're gonna get everything unboxed oh wow look at this you get all three versions of the time machine from back to the future crystal this was super generous of you i can't wait to see what else is in here so joanna didn't choose the hood life but she did just come up with a fantastic idea so we thought well i i can't take any credit for this this is all joanna joanna came up with this up this with this idea we're gonna write everybody's name on this thank you now thank you poster board of everybody who sends something for toys for tots and crystal actually became the first 
person to make the thank you wall. So Joanna just added Michelle D. We have to add Ronaldo. Oh, we have to add Wayne. Have to add Jason, Teresa, Giovanna. So everybody who sends us something is going to get their name on this beautiful poster board. And uh, it'll be pretty cool to uh, highlight all the Gio amazing people. Is G-E-O or G-I-O? She's G-I-O. I know she's G-I-O for Giovanna. Ronaldo's name I have to look up because I don't want to spell it wrong. So there we go. So far we've got Wayne, Crystal, Giovanna, Michelle, Jason, Teresa, and I know we have a few more people to add to the wall. So um, let me go through all of Crystal's items as she sent over some great stuff. So right here, we actually have the IG-11 t-shirt bundle from The Mandalorian. There is the Glow in the Dark Night King from Game of Thrones. Hula Stitch, can't go wrong with Stitch. Hula Lilo to go along with Stitch. Then we have Qualen from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Blacklight Captain America and this super cute Asia exclusive Mickey Mouse. Over here we have the flocked Life Day Chewbacca and she actually sent over a chomp. We love the chomp figures and this is the antique chomp and uh, we're excited to have a chomp figure for our Toys for Tots 2024 auction. She also sent over this really cool Avengers Infinity War 2 pack of Falcon and Bucky, aka the Winter Soldier, as action figures. They've got all kinds of accessories and everything. I believe these are Marvel Legends figures. And then down here, you guys saw the car carrier with the truck. And then we also have this pretty cool futuristic looking Hot Wheel car. We also have a Rocketeer action figure you guys saw the little remy mobile and then last but certainly not least this awesome back to the future time machine micro ride three pack so crystal thank you so much for this incredible box and uh look at that got your name up on the now official toys for tots thank you board and this is crazy guys but i just looked through these other three boxes and uh all three of these small boxes are also for Toys for Tots. So we're gonna bust these open. And it looks like, oh, this one is coming from Nate, AKA Drop Dead Azel. Drop Dead Azel. Okay, very nice. Well, thank you, Nate. I'm gonna read this note and I'm gonna check out the contents of your box. Thank you so much. So huge shout out to you, Nate. Thank you so much for these amazing items that you sent over. I just looked you up on Whatnot, Drop Dead Azazel. We gave you a follow, of course. Thank you so much. We've got Mojo Jojo, Toonami Tom, the Diamond Tom Holland in his new suit, Spider-Man, Rocky, as well as Quasimodo. And then check out the sodas. These sodas are amazing. We got a 3,000 piece Vampire Proto, a 3,000 piece black and white Freddy Funko as the Werewolf, Ghost Clown, Ash, and the Deku Izuku Midoriya Soda. Now, it gets even better with this one particular pop. So look at Rocky right here. Rocky actually has some custom box art on the side here. Like, that is incredible. So Nate, we will be definitely adding you to our thank you wall today. Thank you so much for these incredible items. There we go, officially added to the board. So these next two boxes are actually from our very good friend, Tracy. So Tracy, thank you so much in advance for whatever stuff you sent over. I'm very curious to see what we have. Oh, I see a Freddy. I know Tracy's a big Freddy collector like myself. 5,000 piece Freddy Funko as Elvis. That is amazing. Let me get the rest of the stuff out of here. So Tracy, we got your name on the wall as well as some other people that have donated. We just went back through some of our vlogs and through some of our notes. So the wall is looking fire so far, just straight fire. Look at all these amazing people. But let's check out Tracy's items here. We've got the Marvel Collector Core exclusive Black Widow from her movie, Toucan with the official con sticker, the SDCC Superhero Toucan from 2020. That's a great one. Then we've got the Unmasked Crossbones Barnes & Noble exclusive, Charlie Brown with the little tree, Snoopy and Woodstock. Definitely gotta fix Woodstock right there, but he is adorable. Then we've got the Silver Chrome Ratfink, that beautiful Freddy Funko as Elvis, 
and a Marvel Collector Core exclusive Black Panther Wobbler. Tracy, thank you so much. Guys, I cannot believe how many donations we have, and it is only October 8th. All right, we got Melissa added to the wall. Couldn't forget about Melissa. Guys, this is incredible. We are down to the last two boxes that we need to get open for today. Look at all the carnage, though. Absolutely crazy. We, we do have a cleaning lady, yes. Her name is John. These uh, two boxes here are actually a large collection, so I'm pretty excited to see what we have inside here. Looks like plenty of packing material, which is always good. I see a lot of My Hero Academia pops. Oh, man. Oh, this is an awesome Punisher pop. That really stinks that it got crunched like that. So that's a bummer, which is, this is crazy because obviously a lot of thought went into packing this collection so this is this is a casualty of the post office man that that really stinks but let me get the rest of these pops out of here and see what everything else looks like so here are the contents of box number one unfortunately that punisher that i pulled out initially was not the only casualty of shipping here as this amazing geikoween gecko oh, just such a bummer to see that one so damaged. We also have Naruto. This one took a hit as well. Minato Namikaze also suffered some heavy damage. So um, there were several more pops like that, unfortunately. So really a bummer to see that because, you know, obviously we're collectors first. We don't want to see stuff get destroyed and ruined in the mail service like this but unfortunately a lot of the packing material that was used deeper in the boxes just didn't get the job done but a majority of the collection came in okay so over here we have the pain vs naruto movie moments a lot of anime it's pretty much 90 percent anime we have deku luffy from one piece you you so hachi from one piece spinner you know Glow in the Dark Kawaki from Boruto, Nito from My Hero Academia, that one unfortunately also took a little bit of a hit, Present Mike, the Glow in the Dark Wanda Maxima from Avengers Endgame, Zombie Captain America, Classic Batman, which now I'm noticing has a big tear, which is a bummer, there's Zoom, Frankie, the Endgame Cap, Flocked Hawks, a lot of great ones from My Hero, moving into some Boruto's. We've got Nezuko from Demon Slayer. If we keep getting in collections like this, I'll definitely start to learn some anime. We've got Zuko, Toge from Jujutsu Kaisen, Minato Namikaze from Naruto, Tenya. There's Tamora Shigaraki. Oh, I love this Iron Man. This is like one of the best Iron Man pops they ever made, PX previews. This one is a beauty though. Look at this from 2014, the Coronation Elsa from Frozen, Hot Topic exclusive, love that. Poison Ivy from her, uh, or the newer Harley Quinn show. There's Hawkman, King from Seven Deadly Sins, The Icy Polar Bear, Suyu, Twice, Hinata, Armin, Arlette, and The Blue Spirit. So that was the contents of box number one. Now let's see what's in box number two. Here we go, box number two. Hopefully the contents of this box are in better shape than the first one so i see some more anime a little bit of marvel which is nice and then uh some disney over here so okay we might be in for some good stuff let me get it all unboxed and we'll see what we got and here's the contents of box number two once again it's a lot of anime and look at this pop right here do you guys remember super anime week it's right after mega anime week <laughs> I feel like every week is anime week. I know New York Comic Con week is pretty much anime week, but here we go. We've got Boruto, Noel from Black Co Clover, uh, Namor on the Orca from Wakanda Forever. I did see this movie. I don't remember when he was riding the Orca, so maybe I blinked. Uh, we have Hawkeye, Captain Marvel, Mario Tagata, Toki, uh, Todoroki, Bloodsport, Iron Spider is pretty cool from Avengers Endgame. I like that one. Aang on Air Scooter. That's a nice one. Asta, Naruto Hokage, Shrek. This one's pretty new. Came out recently. There's Namor. I really like this version of Namor with the water rising around him. Pretty cool. Down here, we've got Armored Luffy. That one's awesome. A pair of Elsas. Then we've got Mitsuri Kanroji. Glow in the Dark Hot Topic, Naruto Six Path, Nobara, 
Didara, Hayden, <laughs> Glitter, Donkey. Thank you, Donkey. Donkey, I appreciate you so much right now. Then we have Kakashi Ambu and Black Lightning to round out this collection. So we're going to get these all put on the shelves, but this was definitely... An interesting one. All right, so it's been a very long day. Joanna and I are officially calling in a night. We saw some good, some great with the donations, and a little bit of ugly with that damage collection, but sometimes that's just how it is. You ready for bed, babe? Yes. Let's do it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. What's going on, everybody? Happy Thursday. I'm actually on my way over to our P.O. box because this is pretty much the last opportunity I have to do so before we leave for New York Comic Con in a couple days. We just got notification that there's a bunch of boxes there. I have no idea what's there, but I actually have to um, do my best to get there as quickly as possible because they're actually closing in about... 30 minutes so I'm already about 20 minutes down the road so I'm hoping I can make it there in time before they close and I'm also going to go over to Target to see if we can find any of the new Ninja Turtle Pops uh, the Bullseye Pops I don't think we'll get lucky with a chase or anything but figured we give it a shot but the main priority is picking up the packages from the P.O. Box so hopefully we make it in time we're definitely going to be cutting it close so luckily we made it just before they closed they literally just locked the doors just now. I have no idea what's inside these boxes, but at least with this larger box, we got some more Toys for Tots goodies, but let's go over to Target. All right, so I don't have that much time to shop because I actually need to get back home in time for Pop Force One. Here we go. So over here on this end cap, finally found some of the Biddy Pop rides. We got the Turtle Van, the Millennium Falcon, the Batmobile, definitely getting the Batmobile. Oh, up here, oh look at that, Deadpool's chimichanga truck. These are super cute. I'm gonna have to grab a couple of these. Let me see what other ones they have. Oh, look at this one. A little Nightmare Before Christmas action. That's sweet. All right, I'm definitely getting a few of these. All right, so I spotted some pops on this back section here. We have Don from Loki season two. We're with him on the jet ski. Right here, we've got Spider Boy. Here is Valentino, retro Obi-Wan Kenobi. Over here, looks like the main section. Got Papa Smurf from San Diego Comic-Con. The armor, 8-bit Spider-Man. Oh, look at this. This is pretty sweet right here. The Death Star uh, Biddy 12 pack. Never seen this. That's pretty cool. Black Panther comic book cover. Spider-Man comic cover. Mariah Carey. Um, more clearance. X-Men 8-bit. Victor Timely. There's Daredevil. Jack with Zero. Oh, these are $40. Interesting. It's $40 as well. Rocket Raccoon. Jalen Hurts. Got some more of these down here. Oh, they actually have this one open, so it goes to show you any blind packaging, people rip it open. Look at this thing. Super cool. Boba Fett comic cover. All right, so I got my Biddy Pop rides, which I was excited to find, but come on, where are the turtles? I'm seeing everybody scoop up these amazing Bullseye Turtles Pops and I couldn't even find a common, let alone a chase. So I guess either this target location just didn't get them at all or they already got cleaned out. So, uh, but I got plenty of work ahead of myself or <laughs> I got plenty of work to do at home because I have all these unboxes now to unbox and I got PFO in like an hour and 15 minutes. So I just got done with Pop Force One a few minutes ago. I actually just barely made the stream. I was actually a couple minutes late, but uh, nonetheless, Joanna and I actually still have a little bit of energy left for today. So we're gonna crack open some of these boxes and check this out. So six out of the seven boxes that I just picked up are actually more Toys for Tots donation. So we're gonna unbox them right now and see what we have. So these first two smaller boxes are actually from Jason, who is already 
proudly on the thank you wall right here. It looks like we have a mixture of pops and sodas. Oh, nice soda bags. We can always use those. Oh, we got another Freddy. Look at that. Farmer Freddy's in there. Dark Side Anakin. That's amazing. More, uh, more bubble wrap. We can always use more bubble wrap. Oh, look at this. A little white Deadpool from... 2016 SDCC. How about a glow in the dark Phantom Shadow? Wow, what a great box right there. And then it looks like we have a bunch of sodas, some blacklight sodas, and a couple more pops. So let's get these all out on the table. So here is the full haul from Jason, and Jason has already been super kind. So these items are just icing on the cake. But you guys saw the Deadpool, Farmer Freddy, Anakin Skywalker, and the glow in the dark Phantom Shadow pop. He also sent a Chase Dom and Wicket from Star Wars. And then for the sodas, he sent some amazing ones, all commons, and then the protos, of course, don't have chases, but we have the 2,000-piece Antique Vampire Proto, Marty McFly, Blacklight Sally, Blacklight Queen of Hearts, and then check out 6,000-piece OG 2020 Hanna-Barbera Jabberjaw. That's an incredible one. And then we have the 3000 piece Vampire Proto Soda down there. So thank you so much, Jason. Let's move on to the next box. So this next box is actually from Will and Sherry. And oh man, I see a really nice note right here, which I'm going to read in just a moment. And it looks like there's all kinds of stuff in here and it looks very, very well packed. So let me read this beautiful written note and then we'll get to the contents of this box. So Sherry and Bill, thank you so much for that beautiful note that you guys sent us along with the box. We got you guys proudly on the thank you wall. And down here for the contents of their box, we have the Marvel Collector Core exclusive Groot in the pot, Selena Kyle from the Robert Pattinson Batman movie, Gingerbread Batman, which is super cute and I think perfect for this time of year. Then we have the Hot Top exclusive Blue Bell from My Little Pony, Power Girl from the DC Universe, and then another Groot from the I Am Groot show. They also included some other little goodies here like this sticker and Groot pin, which I think will be really fun bonuses for whomever grabs one or both of these group pops. So thank you so much, Sherry and Bill. We really appreciate your guys' support. And um, this box was just truly incredible. So these next two boxes are from our good friend, Mike D, who we proudly just added to the thank you wall. And I'm very curious to see what's in both of these, especially this big Funko Shop one. So here are all the pops and the one Dorbs ride that Mike sent over for the auction. So right here we have Paz Vizsla, the Muddy Mudhorn Battle Mandalorian, the all red Marvel Collector Core Floating Scarlet Witch with the Darkhold, the Drowned from the DC Universe, Orange Chrome Hulk, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, Omega Red from X-Men, the 6,500 piece Proto Moa Wolves mascot from last year's Fun Days. Then we have the Green Chrome Hulk, Orange Chrome Joker with that official New York Comic Con 2019 debut sticker. And then check out this beautiful piece. This is the San Francisco Giants giveaway Mandalorian pop. And that was exclusive to Star Wars Day at the baseball field in San Francisco. How crazy is this piece. This is actually a very sought after pop by Star Wars fans. So that's gonna be a huge one for the show. Then we have Falcon from Civil War, the beautiful Batman animated series, Dorb's Batmobile Ride, love that one. Artist series, Black Panther, Obi-Wan Kenobi from his Disney Plus show, Red Chrome Hulk, and Angel from the uh, X-Men Marvel Collector Core exclusive right there. So some great pops and in the smaller box, he actually sent a gift for my collection, and I am beyond excited to finally have Madam Web in the collection. I think this deluxe pop is so cool. Only Madam Web pop we've gotten. Probably the only one we've ever gotten. He sent two notes, but I just have to show off this one really quick. So he says, John, I got this for you last year, and then news of the move came 
Those darn moves, man. He says, happy birth, Moss, St. Patrick's, Valentine's Day, uh, New Year's Day, etc. All the holidays. Enjoy, courtesy of Mike D. I thought that note was perfect. Thank you so much, Mike. It really means the world that you sent this over for our collection and that you sent these over for the Toys for Tots auction. And thank you for the two beautiful notes. And this last massive box is from our good friend Debbie. I cannot believe how much stuff she sent. And I am so excited to get this cracked it's just open. Bubble wrap in there. Could it could very well be Honestly, just bubble wrap. The bubble wrap? Can you imagine if this whole box was bubble wrap? This would be amazing. Actually, that would be very helpful. We are paying for all the bubble wrap, so this would actually be a goddamn. Yeah, if it's just packing material, Debbie, you're still the MVP. Debbie, I don't know what to say because the amount of items you sent over is just insanely we generous. Get her on the wall. We definitely have to get her on the wall. Can we actually do that right now? Can we uh can we add? She's actually coming up because I can't I can't fit. So Perfect. we're gonna do Debbie. Let's get Debbie on the wall. Debbie. Eight, Eight four, five. five pops. Perfect. And now we can give Debbie our official thank you. It's crooked because usually I don't have anything in front of me. Sorry, well, we Debbie. can't correct it. It's permanent marker. Here we go. We have Sugar Bear, Lion Form Sora from Kingdom Hearts, Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, Deku, Glow in the Dark, Heat Ray Godzilla, Band Concert Mickey, Zombie Rogue, Gang Orca, Stinkor, the scented version from 2018 San Diego Comic-Con, and it's actually stinky. Chase Gunther, Sigma from Overwatch, Captain Crunch, love that one. Flock, Target exclusive Bunny from Toy Story 4, Bo Peep, also from Toy Story 4. Colonel Sanders, the Mandalorian in jetpack mode with the child. Infinity Ultron, Forky, Alien, Gabby Gabby with Forky, those were all from Toy Story 4. Optimus Prime, Teal Chrome Batman from 2019 San Diego Comic-Con, Phantom Shadow from Scooby-Doo, Bambi with the butterfly on his tail. Down here we have Tony Tony Chopper, Jackie Robinson, Fix-It Felix, Grimlock from 2021 Emerald City Comic-Con, Training Deku, Minoru Mineta, Katsuki Bakugo, and the Ballerina Deadpool. But that is not all what she sent. She also sent over some amazing Batman socks. We might have to bid on those for Joanna. Yeah, she I also... She, uh, the only thing she didn't include was in a note. Yeah, no, I didn't see a note. Yeah. I'll go back through the fluff, but I did not see a note. She also included this lanyard. And then check these out. These are all complete GameStop mystery boxes from a couple years back. These were the Venomized Fantastic Four boxes. They're all complete with a pop, pocket pop, pop pez, sticker, and pin. So we're actually thinking we're going to auction off each one as their set. And each one is different. I'll give you guys a little teaser of what one of them looks like if I can get it open here. Can you help me out? Yeah. It's hard to do with one hand here. <laughs> All right, nice. So this is the Venomized Mr. Fantastic, and you guys can see all the different components. So we're going to auction sticker, this off. I think the sticker Yeah, is. sticker's right here. We're going to auction it off. That's actually a really cool sticker, just like this. So starting at a buck, and we they're have different, four so of them. Yeah, they're all different, which is... Come over and see what they are. Super cool. So Debbie, wow. Thank you so much. I'm going to get all these items into a brand new bin, and I'm going to show you guys all the bins with all the stuff that we've gathered so far. So we're still in the process of unpacking our regular personal belongings. There is no process. It's all to be unpacked. It's all <laughs> we're, you're looking at. Clothes, uh, shoes. Our life is basically still in this side of the garage. However, we have nine buckets full of stuff for our Toys for Tots auction on November 16th. This is crazy. We have two buckets of other. We have five bins of pops, four of which are completely full. This one has a little bit more room. And then we have two bins full of sodas with the bottom one being completely full. And then this one being about half full. Like this is absolute craziness, guys. So thank you to everybody who has 
sent us something for the show who has donated. Please go bookmark November 16th, 12 p.m. Eastern. I think we're almost at 500 bookmarks, which is crazy, but let's switch gears really quickly. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much. I'm going to give you guys a little teaser. We're going to be giving this bad boy away tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern for our 25K follower celebration over on whatnot. 1,500 piece Freddy Funko as Loki. That's an amazing pop. It's actually one that I have in my personal collection. I can actually walk over and show you guys so you can see that it's pretty cool that we happen to have two in our possession at the moment. Where is my Freddy as Loki? Oh, there he is right next to Freddy Thor. So we've got two of them and uh, one of them will be going home to one lucky person tomorrow night absolutely free. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this vlog, please smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and we hope to see you this weekend to potentially win the Freddy Funko as Loki. As always, don't stop shooting until you score. We'll see you all very soon.